Well, after a summer of travel chaos at airports, passengers who face delays and cancellations are now struggling to get compensation. I'm now joined by Tan V. Sikan. She is seeking reimbursement from Air Canada after her troubled flight home from India. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me, Andrea. All right, so first, tell us about the delays that you experienced on your trip. Um, so I was, when I was traveling back from India, um, like I was supposed to come from Delhi to Frankfurt and then Frankfurt to Montreal and then one, Montreal to Winnipeg, where I live. Um, so as soon as I reach Montreal airport, I get a notification um, that my flight to Winnipeg has been canceled and the next flight that they gave me was two days later. Um, so after waiting in line after four hours, when I got to the customer service rep, they were like, because they've had so many cancellations that day, um, they cannot give me uh, an accommodation because all of their hotels are full. Mm. Um, so I have to get myself an accommodation and uh, I can apply for a reimbursement later. And I did the same. Uh, of course, like I was, uh, I had to stay there for two days. Mm. So I got myself an accommodation and uh, later when I sent them all the receipts for the reimbursement, which included everything like hotels, uh, food, uh, you know, taxi fare and everything, mm. they said that they cannot reimburse for it. And wow. the best that they can do is give me a discount on my next ticket. <laughs> which I don't know if I'll be using it or not because I was already traveling to India after five years mm -hmm. and I don't know when I'll be traveling next and you know that amount that I spent all the expenses and everything it just it like you know it means a lot to a student because it's a big amount for them they already pay a lot of fees and everything mm -hmm. um, so yeah so that's that's what happened and what justification did air canada give you for not reimbursing you since they told you listen we can't we can't give you accommodations because everything's booked but pay for your own and then we'll reimburse you so how are they explaining this whole situation to you now um so the email that they sent me um in response to my reimbursement request it said that you know the reason for the cancellations is because we are experiencing a shortage in you know the resources and because of the government restrictions and everything um so that's why like you know they are not reimbursing for the cancellations anymore mm -hmm. um but that isn't what they said at the airport right they said that they would reimburse mm -hmm. um and like you know it, it it's not the passenger's fault right i like we are like you know doing everything at the best we can mm -hmm. um but, but yeah yeah no i understand and you also mentioned that you're a student so all of this out of pocket is quite expensive for you so how much did this whole ordeal uh cost you out of pocket uh it costed me around a thousand dollars for those two days but out of which only like you know Six hundred dollars, around six hundred dollars, were like hotel only. Mm. So it is quite expensive, like for a student, I would say. Yeah, no, it's very expensive, especially when you've already planned for your trip. I think everybody's been through that experience. You plan for your trip, you have your budget. You don't budget for staying in a hotel for two days and then not getting reimbursed. Yeah. So, um, how was your trip back home? Did you have any issues? Uh, no, not at all. I did not have any issues at all when I was traveling back home. I had a direct flight from Vancouver to uh, Delhi. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just on the way back. And it's like quite frustrating, in fact, when like, you know, you are not able to even communicate with Air Canada because like they're not replying to your emails. They're not picking up the phone calls because of the high volume, the call gets disconnected. Mm -hmm. So on top of that, there's all of this process that you have to go through, like on top of the expenses um that you know gets really frustrating yeah i can imagine well hopefully you'll get your money back thanks for taking the time to speak to us this morning once again that's tanvi sikan thanks tanvi thanks andrea